We've got a problem in this country with, and in the state of Maine and in almost every school district in the country and almost every school in the country, but that's not the whole story. You are going to have the kids who sit around the dining room table with their parents at supper time. That still does happen, and they're going to talk about what college they're going to go to. But you also have the students that don't do that. And how are we going to help those students do, to move forward? How, how are we going to give them that dinner table conversation while they're in four years of high school? We have done a whole lot of random acts of dropout prevention. We have not been calculated and strategic in deciding what we're going to do. How do most schools decide what to do about improving graduation rates? How do we decide the strategy? Just looking at the people who are here today, they're so excited about this and everyone wants our kids to do really, really well. Well, I think it's really important that you have both state and federal policies in place that foster the ability for communities to address dropout prevention. All the mentoring, all the tutoring, all the after-school programs are not going to produce the desired results as much as you'd like because you don't have everybody on the bus. The quarterback can't win the game alone. So the idea that our staff and students are, are in an experience together for nine intensive months I feel confident by the end of it, uh, they will have not only gained skills and acquired um, academic abilities beyond what they could have imagined when they started, but their self-esteem grows, their self-confidence grows, they do a lot of service learning projects, and in the end, they become the catalyst for change, and, and they do a lot of shifting of paradigms in terms of how people perceive not only teenagers, but at-risk teenagers who are so capable of contributing positively to communities. Sometimes people don't let their vision go broadly enough. They stop and think, we can only do this. I'll tell you, today of all days is the day to think big, because that's who we are as school people, dreamers and doers. I was wondering if this was just going to be a, another paper shuffle, basically that something goes on the, on the shelf, and it's definitely not set up that way. So if these are things that we should be doing in school anyway, then just having that little bit of focus on them will save one or two kids every year. If you can identify with some of those, you see what some of your students are dealing with. Some of the things are not their, not their issue, not their fault, it's not their own doing, but there are circumstances in their life that put themselves at risk. I wanted to come to this training because we're sort of wandering around trying to figure out what to do next. Now we have so much we want to do and plan out for, we've got three, four years worth now and we've just got so much put together in two days. It's a choice. You can have good or you can have these things that are quickly done. To me, the good comes when we get other people to come to their understanding of what's going on.